really nice half for the Kings, uh, taking on the Sixers, and they are up by 12, 60 to 48. Uh, Keegan Murray with a really impressive uh, first half with 19, and a guy that I think we're going to have to put on the all-opponent team, uh, Mr. Maxey yeah. of Philadelphia. Man, oh, man. I mean, 26 points in the first half, but the Kings lead by 12, Rhino. Yeah, the Kings did a good job of coming back or coming back in the second quarter and combating that horns action that they were running up top for Maxi. That's a tough guard, Grant, but hopefully the Kings can find a solution long term in the second. Yeah, uh, good news. Phoenix lost earlier to San Antonio, so you can pick up a game on them. And it looks like the Mavs are going to beat the Jazz, which uh, sets up that showdown uh, tomorrow. Uh, Dallas is up by ten with uh, forty-five seconds left, so. They're going to win that game. And then uh, tomorrow, assuming that the Kings can hold on here, uh, that would be that's going to be one heck of a game. It's going to be a big game. Playoff atmosphere. Yeah. All right. Let's get to Jerry Reynolds. Uh, Jerry joins us right here at intermission. Jerry, it's always good to have you on with us. Uh, your impressions on the first 24 minutes. Oh. I don't think Jerry can hear us. Jerry. All right, I'll put him back on and then we'll uh, get to him in a minute. You know, get that worked out. All right. It's all right. We got to have Jerry on. He's got to he, have Jerry. I, he may have to sign off and sign back on. What do you think? Yeah, I think it, he knows the procedure now, Grant. He's been through it enough times. <laughs> <laughs> oh, my God. <laughs> He's doing this for almost two seasons. You know, we get 82 tries a year at it. Oh, my gosh. <sighs> oh, man. All right. Uh, what stood out to you in that first half? Uh, the fast break. The the Kings are going to win or lose this game in that area. Nine to three in the fast break there. Shot selection and having the right people and the spacing is going to be the key to success. All right. Kings got a bonus from the bench and Davion Mitchell who's scoring in this game. They did, but you know who almost brought them down a little bit? Chris Duarte. So uh -huh. when we talk about shot selection, I don't need four three-pointers from Chris Duarte when the Kings have only shot 12. I agree. All right. Uh, Jerry's still searching, and uh, let me see if we can get his attention. Jerry, can you hear us? Can you hear us? All right, the answer is no. Like All searching. right, uh, <laughs> I'm gonna I'm gonna pull double duty. You keep talking. I'll uh, I'll do IT right. while on the air. All right. <laughs> <laughs> uh, you know it's interesting because you uh, had again Murray uh, with 19 points in there. He only had one rebound. But, you know, I look at Harrison Barnes, who played 12 minutes and yeah. basically did nothing, which is, you know, again, that happens. Uh, Sabonis had a, a relatively quiet first half in terms of scoring. But, you know, he got his assist. He got his rebounds. But right now, uh, the Kings are getting, you know, doing what they have to do. And they're taking care of the basketball, Ryan. They're taking care of the ball, and the 76ers are the best team in the NBA at taking care of the ball. So that means there's high-level basketball going on and i don't know if the kings are going to win that battle in the paint it's 22 22 right now because grant they're collapsing on sabonis every time he touches the ball they are yeah they're making it difficult for him but i like the way he's passing out of the double team and uh, again all in all uh based on the fact that you know this is the first game back after that east coast road trip and a long day of travel uh, 60 points in the first half up by 12 i mean i would have taken that before the game started i think this is very good for sacramento and no doubt, it's it's probably the best game they've had coming off of a road trip. First game back at home, yep. um, and on a night they need it, like we laid out at the top. Both teams that are that had twenty nine losses coming into tonight are in action. But it becomes Grant. What kind of game is it the rest of the way? Do the Kings have to play their starters 35, 40 minutes tonight? Yeah, uh, that's always something that you look at. You know, Philadelphia played yesterday and they beat the Clippers. And so, you know, you got to wonder, you know, how much uh, gas is point. in their tank for the end of this. That Dallas game now is a final, Ryan. Uh, so the Mavericks do indeed win. Uh, so the Kings now really have to play well here in the second half, hold on to that lead uh, and make sure they get a win. The final in that game was 115-105. to 105. Uh, The Mavs win uh, in Utah. Uh, Luca and, uh, played. Luca played 41 minutes, and uh, Kyrie Irving played 36 minutes. Jerry, can you hear us? I can hear you now. Yeah, don't know what happened. Better late than never, Jerry. Better late than never. I agree with you. Uh, Spurs got a big win over the Suns. Yep. Can't beat that, right? Yep. Just what are your thoughts your on the first half, Jerry? Pardon? What were your oh, thoughts the, on the uh, Kings in the first half? 
Well, I thought, you know, Keegan Murray and Davion Mitchell were my MVPs in that uh, in that first half. I thought that when Davion come in and got on Maxi, it changed uh, changed a lot of things defensively. And of course, he made some shots as well and made plays. But of course, Keegan Keegan was uh, terrific. So, uh, you know, you got great performances, you know, on, with several guys. But uh, it, it's going to be a slog, you know. I mean, Tyrese Maxey's uh, the real deal, and yeah, and Tobias Harris is capable of going big. So, but I think it's a. I think they played about as well as they could play in that first half. To be honest, I agree. Yeah. Spot on, Jerry. How would you defend Tyrese Maxey here in the second half? I I think the way Coach Brown did there in the second quarter. I mean, just put ball pressure on him, work him as hard as you can. And uh, I thought Davion, nobody gets up into the ball better than he does. I mean, Keon Ellis is better switching and and uh, adjusting. But I mean, just on ball defense, Davion, it really I think will create some problem for him. And I think you have to. It's dangerous. Uh, if you go to the zone, you're probably going to have to cheat on him. That's for sure. You just can't uh, treat treat him like any other guy because he's not. Rhino, you think the Kings will have a 60 point second half? No, no, I do not. I think it's going to be much lower than 60. I think they'll be lucky to hit 50. I think it's a race to 100 points tonight. Probably 115 wins it. All right, but you think the Kings will win, right? Yes, absolutely. Yeah, Jerry. Yeah, I- yeah, I think uh, I think they, they they'll win this game. I think it's going to be 110 to about 101, uh, but I think the offense will slow down. Defense, both teams play good defense. I mean, the Kings yeah. play defense, and and uh, you know it's got a little playoff feel to it. Not quite like the Knicks game of a few weeks ago, but but uh, definitely has some playoff feel to it. These uh, Sixers are, you know, they're battling too because they know. Yeah. They just got to get in somewhere, and then Beat will be back, and then they'll be a real threat. They sure will. Uh, I think the Kings win this game one fifteen to one hundred four. I, I think that they'll they'll score well enough in this second half. And uh, again, with the Sixers, I, listen, you hold them to forty eight points in the first half. I mean that that's outstanding. So I, I don't see Philadelphia going off. Uh, I don't. You know, a twelve point lead is a nice lead to have on this team. Nice, very nice job. Yeah, it really is. And I mean, as we know, the NBA, you can't really count on anything. You know, I, I watched the Celtics get beat and the Hawks having a 30 yeah. point lead to the, to, to the Hawks. So, uh, you know, that's the NBA, but, but I think the way the Kings are playing defense, is going to make it, you know, they're, they're, they're not giving away baskets and that's the key. Jerry, how much of a difference has it made last game against Orlando? The Kings made 18 free throws. Orlando only attempted 18 free throws tonight. The Kings are 13 of 14 from the stripe. How big of a pump up is it for the team when they're getting there? Well, I mean, obviously make, make your free throws at a high percentage, take care of the ball. And, and generally the, for the last 10 games or so, they've been doing both those things pretty well. I, I think it's been great, you know, seeing Domas make all of his free throws. I hope I'm not going to wood here, but he's really been on the run making them. And, and that's a real key, but uh, yeah. Uh, yeah. The, the Kings are more aggressive. And I think, you know, the more aggressive team gets the line more, you know, we, we complain about it the other way, but it's usually because the other team is more aggressive when they get more free throws. Not always, of course. It's going to be very interesting to see how the minutes go in this second half because already uh, you've had Fox and Murray log 20 minutes and so bonus 19. And again, I keep on talking about tomorrow because it's a huge game. And for the Kings, it's the third game in four nights. So, I mean, perfect scenario. You'd really like to get a cushion here going so you don't have to play those guys major minutes because there, there there's going to be some attrition in the game tomorrow. I know it's a big game. I know it's going to be a playoff atmosphere. I get all of that. But three games and four nights with a cross-country travel, that's not going to be easy for the Kings tomorrow night. Oh, of course not. No, you'd like to get them rest, but I don't know if you're going to be able to do that. Yep. I mean, the one good thing is that, you know, the Jazz are playing – I mean, excuse me, the Mavericks are playing tonight, and they have to travel in to play tomorrow. Yep. So, uh, you know, so there, it's a little – Whatever. I mean, uh, the bottom line is, you know, that the uh, the Mavericks played their guys big minutes tonight, as you yes, they tonight. did. And so, yeah, it's a stage of the year where coaches are going to do whatever they can do to win the game. That's right. Yep. Jerry, very well Jerry, said. 
Jerry, is this one of those games where it might be beneficial if you're Mike Brown to go a little deeper into your bench with like a Kessler Edwards throwing different looks at Tyrese Maxey? Well, if, if he gets going again, I would agree, think so. But if fortunately, uh, you know, I thought Davion really did slow him down. And so unless he gets going on a wild tangent, I, I don't know that you would do that. I mean, Kessler Edwards, I think you can probably – I'd say put him on uh, uh, Tobias Harris if you're really going to do oh, him on good. anybody. I think that's a little better matchup uh, for, for the Kings. You know, it's interesting. You know, you look at the Philadelphia, Batum didn't score. You know, he and Barnes really, they they didn't do anything offensively uh, in that first half. I mean, really, uh, it was Maxi, 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 Maxi. I mean, other than that, there really nobody else stood out for Philadelphia. Nobody. No, no, not at all. And we know, you know, Tobias Harris can and likely will. Uh -huh second half but but maxi is their their best player there's no doubt about it and 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 as good as he is he's not that good you know i mean yeah he's not, he's not 20 point quarter good and, and well then keegan is 17 point quarter good i mean they're they both got got it going and both teams uh certainly i know philly's going to make adjustments on on keegan you know going into the second half to try to take away some clean looks for him yeah, and what, the other thing with Maxi, when you have a guy that's shooting that well, you can't give him second opportunity, seven offensive rebounds in the first half for the 76ers. Yeah, I mean, that's the thing about a lot of long shots, there's long rebounds, and 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 that really lends itself to offensive rebounding. You know, I know people a lot of times talk about blocking it. Well, there's nobody to block out on the ball that rebounds out 15, 18 feet because the time you went to, to try to block out a guard, he's already – got the ball <laughs> there you go well it's uh at the half and uh we will be on minus jerry after the game we will be breaking it down hopefully uh it will be light the beam time and we can talk about tonight's game and look ahead to uh tomorrow but i like again we keep on saying this a very positive half jerry there's really nothing i didn't like about that first half i thought based on the travel yesterday yep. being on the east coast first game back i mean there did i thought it was just about as well as can be expected. Oh, yeah, absolutely. I mean, they came out with a lot of intensity and effort, uh, you know, uh, established they were going to play and play very competitively early on. And now we say so many times, yep. and it's very true, you got to do the same thing in the first part of this third quarter. Just yes. make sure that Philly knows uh, they, they need to feel you a little bit here early on. Amen to that. Jerry, thank you. We appreciate it. We'll talk to you tomorrow. Can't wait, guys. All right. Good stuff <laughs> there with Jerry. And uh, Rhino, we will look forward to uh, being back in a little more than an hour. Let's do it. Open phones and make sure you text the show as well. 916-339-3748. Enjoy the second half, everybody. Back in a little more than an hour.